Try to get that lip liner on before I start doing the lipsticks. What's up you guys? Today I'm showing you how to do some tacky lipstick. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but it's like really back in to have lip liner and then nothing else. You know, just have that like dark rim around your lip. Just kidding you guys, did you think I lost my mind? I would not just wear this unless maybe I filled my whole lip in and then made it look normal, but this is not cute. I did, however, want to get the whole shebang started because today we are talking about my top five favorite everyday lipsticks, everyday lip colors, I should say, because some of these are lipsticks, some are glosses, some are matte lips, but these are the five colors basically that are always in my purse, and they're good for all different skin tones as well, so I hope you guys really like this and like some of these colors and if you have any favorites of your own let me know in the comments below because i would love to i don't know get some new colors to try let's get started as you guys can see i have the lip liner on already um i use nyx in the crayon in nude beige and as you can see it's a very cool tone so it's gonna make some of these colors pull a little bit cooler so the anastasia of beverly hills it is called Undressed Lip Gloss. And this, it's lip gloss, but it is so pigmented. And as you can see, it's like a really nude color. Um, so because of that, I find if you don't have lip liner, it just looks a little too like whited out. So I'm gonna put this on so you guys can see what it looks like on me. I absolutely love this color. I've seen it on all skin tones. I've seen it on like my really dark skin friends. I've seen it on my friends who are super fair and pale. It's just honestly the perfect nude lip. Okay, I got the number one out of the way. We're gonna go with a little cheaper one now. NYX Cosmetics Creme, oh sorry, I thought it was Creme Brulee. I like that one too. Fortune Cookie, NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. This is first of all, always in my purse again, but especially if I'm going to the beach, laying out by the pool, this is just like such a pretty uh, gloss feels so nice going on your lips. They're butter gloss, I love their formula. And what is this, like $5, not even maybe? I don't know, it's very inexpensive. And I'll link all of the products that I'm talking about, of course, in the description box below. My number three everyday lip color that is always in my bag, this kind of is one that's bringing me back to childhood. I love a freaking sparkly lip. I have since I was young, remember MAC Cosmetics came out with, I mean this probably been like 15 years ago now, with this like super, super glittery lip gloss and it was my absolute favorite. And when ColourPop started releasing these like sparkly lip colors, uh, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of when I was like young. So this is ColourPop Cosmetics Tight Fit Metallic. And I'm just gonna put it on. Maybe I need my little mirror, I don't know. Oh, it's so pretty. Now this one definitely has a pinky hue to it. Definitely pinky. I feel like I'm ready to sing like Ace of Base or something. Half of you guys probably don't even know who Ace of Base is, which makes me feel old. Okay, anyway, moving on. So this next everyday favorite lipstick, my number four, is by John Russo Beauty. So John Russo is actually a really famous celebrity photographer here in LA. He shoots everyone from like freaking JLo, Leonardo DiCaprio, Ben Affleck, I mean like Demi Lovato, you name it, he's shot them. So he actually came out with a beauty line. He's got like lipsticks, nail polishes, and colognes. This is one of his lipsticks, uh, really cute packaging. It's kind of dirty because it's been in my purse. But um, this is a really great everyday kind of peachy toned neutral. It's called Miss Karen's. It's definitely a nude, but it pulls a little bit more peachy nude. And it feels like a nice, satiny lipstick. Another great neutral lip. I just, I love this color. It's similar, honestly, to the Anastasia. It's just not glossy. It gives a little bit more of kind of a matte look while still being super moisturizing. My final favorite lipstick. I just couldn't do my top five favorite lipsticks without including this color because for the past, ever since I found out about it, which has probably been, I don't know, maybe like two years now, I have carried it with me everywhere I go. And it is by Girlactic. It is the color Bashful and it, it is one of their matte lipsticks. First of all, Girlactic is one of my favorite formulas when it comes to matte lipstick. In my opinion, it's better than the Kylie Jenner stuff. It's better than like even the ColourPop matte lip, which I feel like is really drying and can crust off. This formula, 
for matte lipsticks, long wear matte lipstick, this is my go-to. The color is what I love so much. I don't need any lip liner, I don't need more than one coat. Freaking love this color. Okay, so my camera keeps dying. My husband just got home. He's now in the bathroom taking a shower, so you might hear the fan. Anyway, that wraps it up for my top five everyday lipsticks, lip colors. Um, I will show you them all together. Love these so much. Let me know which ones were your fave, and of course, I will link to all of them below. I feel like I wonder what this one would look like. Mixing them up, getting new colors. <gasps> Love this color combo. I'm gonna have to wear this to dinner. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Say bye, Sasha. Did you wanna say bye? Say I love you. Say I love you. <laughs>